welcome to the Rich Report. This is Rich Breckner from SC13 in Denver, and we're here today to take a, a demo of a Z Space. I'm here with Barton Fisk. You are the uh, what are you, the business development manager? What, what's your role? Uh, director of technical sales and uh, evangelism for ZSpace. Well, 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 thanks for giving us this demo, Bart. Now, we're watching this with, with 3D glasses and everything, but through the miracle of technology, we're capturing it for Inside HPC. So, first, give us a perspective, the 30 second. Who is ZSpace and who do you help? Sure. So ZSpace is a manufacturer of what we call a 3D holographic display. Uh, really what we mean by that is uh, we have a stereoscopic display that incorporates uh, head tracking and also tracking of a six degree of freedom uh, stylus. So what it allows us to do is natively work in 3D as though the objects were floating in space in front of us and directly manipulate those objects as though we were actually holding them in our hands or man manipulating them uh, with a, a stylus input tool. Okay, so, so we're in this demo suite here, and this is a special display we're looking at that has uh, 3D stereo. W what makes this display different from any other LCD I might buy? Well, uh, first of all, we deliver a true HD quality signal. We're using a quad buffer stereo signal, either from an NVIDIA or an ATI graphics card. <clears throat> and what we've chosen to do is implement the stereoscopic capability in the display itself so that we can have a passive uh, set of polarized glasses and experience the 3D in as unobtrusive as possible a manner. Okay, so through this video demo, we're going to be we're going to be seeing what's going on in 2D. It isn't quite the same, but we got really good quality here. So, 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 Barton, you're using a, a, a 2D stylus, kind of like a pencil, to point at things, and this is the way you interact with things with Z space, isn't it? Yeah, actually, it's a six degree stylus. So we uh, track the stylus's location, X, Y, and Z, as well as roll, pitch, and yaw. Those are the six degrees of freedom. And so, if I reach down here and grab this object, I can now pick this up and manipulate it. And although on camera what you're seeing is that it's floating in front of the screen that is a 2d composite image uh, but here standing in front of the display it does appear as though it's literally right in front of my face yeah yeah so 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 you literally when you when you move it closer to your face it's it gets bigger just like if i picked up a uh you know a, a barbie doll and put it like two inches from my nose that's that's what you're seeing isn't it yep that's right okay so here uh, we have a uh, we have an object of a, a doctor, and uh, we've got a couple of uh, scenarios where we can interact with the uh, other content. So if I go and put this doctor in this portal, what we're going to end up doing is uh, loading a uh, anatomically correct uh, model of uh, the lungs and oh the human heart. Yeah. So here I can pick up this heart, and although obviously in this demo you can't feel it, our stylus is vibrating according to the heart rate. We have a haptic motor inside this stylus that allows us to uh, synchronize the beating of the heart uh, along with the vibrational motor. And then you know I can move this heart around, I can interact with it, but let's say I want to actually see inside of it. Here I can strip away these layers and begin looking at the inner operation of the heart. We can see the valves opening and closing, uh, and we can see the whole object uh, essentially right in front of us as though uh, we were working on a real human heart. Okay, so, so Barton, I have to stop you here because this, this haptic device you're using, after about two seconds, I kind of picked up how to do it. it. It was, to me, it was much easier to interact with this using this stylus than a, a mouse device just is made for 2D, isn't it? And this, this, this was just very intuitive. Exactly. That's the whole point of this is that when people work with 3D, they're tired of looking at objects that don't appear right. We're taking advantage of a number of important perceptual cues here. So we have stereoscopic uh, display, which allows us to see objects in 3D. Uh, we have this stylus, uh, which allows us to uh, manipulate objects. And then by tying the camera, the virtual camera in the scene to our glasses, as I move my head around here, I'm actually... Oh, you're getting able, a parallax there, that's aren't right. you? I'm, I'm able to take advantage of motion parallax here, and this additively creates a sense of immersion that people have not really been able to explore in a now, 3D display I'm before. not seeing that, though, on, on my display. When, when, when you moved your head, I, I didn't really see that change in perspective. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. What, what we would be seeing if we were wearing the glasses is just like if there was an object in front of me, uh, uh, like, uh, like a foot away, and I turned my head to the right, I would see the right side of it, and the other side would be eclipsed. That's right? correct. Yeah. yeah. That's correct. Okay. So we've given some compromises in our compositing software here, but the idea is uh, to try and export, if you will, the uh, sense of, of the 3D uh, effect by using, this, uh, by using this software tool. 
So, so okay, so so these are models. So, so, so what's the call to action? I mean, you guys are demonstrating what's possible with this. To really make this shine, I mean, real applications have to be developed, don't they? Correct. And what we're seeing here are really just prototypes. Uh, this is something that we develop so that we can get across the strengths of the platform. Uh, but we're working with commercial software providers in a variety of markets. Uh, right now, we're focusing primarily in the educational market, uh, looking at uh, universities as well as elementary schools to provide this as a teaching tool. We also see a huge application in uh, simulation, uh, teaching people uh, how very uh, assemblies and components work, and, and also uh, some pretty strong application in the medical visualization market where uh, up until um, even today, doctors are very constrained by uh, the tools that are available, and it's time to start giving them uh, the ability to see their patient's data as though they were looking inside the body. Okay, so, so going after those kind of markets, I mean, affordability has to be a factor. What, what kind of price point are we talking about here, Martin? So the display list in the U.S. is 4000 Only $4,000? Four, $4, thousand dollars for it. an immersive for an immersive head tracking and uh, motion tracking display completely integrated uh, turnkey works directly with uh, any graphics card that can do a quad buffer stereo signal does that price point include the uh, the stylus and everything you need because you're, you're just hooked up to a laptop here this isn't a supercomputer that's right no this it's not a supercomputer it is a nice laptop it's a yeah, yeah. it's a Dell 6700 M uh, series which is uh, running uh, the uh, Nvidia k5000 uh, M series graphics um, but uh, you know the stylus is included uh, all the software drivers are included so that all comes as part of the the actual purchase of the device itself okay, so so how do I engage with Z space my ears are perked up what 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 would cspace.com and uh, you know get in touch with our North American sales force we also have a technology access program for developers uh, it's a subscription program and for fifteen hundred dollars a year we will give you the complete display as well as early access to the beta drivers uh, and the ability to give feedback into our development team about what's working and what you'd like to see in the future and as long as you keep that subscription current anytime we make a new piece of com Ponetry, if we make a new display or a new stylus, as well as new software, we just ship that to you as part of your subscription. Well, great. Well, Barton, hey, thanks for showing this to us today. Yeah, this, this is a this pleasure. Is, this is incredible. Great, thanks. Great job.